players taking the field now. Starters getting ready to go, Hudson circling up as a team, getting themselves focused. Captain Chase Blackman giving a little extra posterior encouragement there to the, uh, to the boys in the circle. And we will be ready to kick off here momentarily. Chippewa Falls has the ball. They will be heading to the west end of the field into the sunset, which is primarily blocked by some cloud cover, so no real problems for the Chippewa Falls goalkeeper there. That can, depending on the uh, time of day and weather, be a real problem for the east end of the field. Uh, in these evening games, sun can really present a, a problem. Not looking to be an issue this evening. Hudson finishes up their huddle, and we are ready to kick off here. Referee checks his watch. And we're underway, Chippewa Falls. Starting off attacking, three forwards. Give the ball away, nice little touch there by uh, Mountain for Hudson. To Schultz, Dylan Ferreira. Swings it big right away, and there's uh, Captain Chase Blackman. On the ball, picks his head up, he's got time to survey the field. Plays it up, looks like it might have taken a little bit of a uh, little bit of deflection, it did. That's gonna be a throw in for Hudson. It's a position Blackman likes to be able to drop deep collect the ball, get his, get his head upfield. He's able to play that long pass with uh, power and accuracy. He's a real, uh, real dangerous weapon, really, for the Raiders. So uh, Sean Mountain plays it over Santiago Vergara, takes a touch, plays a nice back safety to uh, Captain Dylan Ferreira. Ferreira takes a couple touches, looks to go big, fakes out the uh, attacking player. Chippewa Falls content to just pressure a little bit with one forward. Right now, nice slow start to the game, first minute or so here. Hudson passing around the back a little bit. Chippewa Falls content to allow that. And now a throw for Hudson there. First foray into Chippewa Falls half of the field. Sudden nicely there by uh, Colton Prater. Turns again. We're back to play it around the defensive line. Hudson patient with the ball at the start. Looking to find Willie Douglas. He is unable to win the ball, but Colton Prater picks up the uh, pass. Nice little outside of the foot pass. Threads it through. That falls right down. And that's going to be, oh, just wide for George Noonan. What a fabulous pass there by Colton Prater. Saw the uh, space in behind the defense and was able with the outside of his foot to bend it through two defenders right into George Newton's run. Newton settled and put a great shot on goal, and that was a really fabulous save by Mike Ayensu Mensa, the chip keeper, and we're underway again already. Quick take, Prater back to Douglas. Douglas looking to play it in, and that's blocked out of play there by uh, number three, Dylan Schimmel, for a second corner. Two corners already early for Hudson, and a great opportunity after a shot from George Newton and set up by Colton Prater's pass. Ball's back in, Prater, looks fake, carries it along the end line, looks to slot it back into the middle, falls to Chase Blackman, Blackman outside of the foot, and it sneaks through, oh, and there's the goal, one nothing for the Raiders. Two minutes, four seconds in, Coach Solom could not have scripted a better start for his team. Two early set play opportunities, they sent two players, first time Prater played it back to Willie Douglas for the cross, that set up the second uh, corner kick. This time Colton Prater decided to keep it, slotted it nicely, the deflection fell to Chase Blackman and uh, took a little outside of the foot shot, and it snuck underneath the keeper. So in the third minute of play, Chase Blackman, Blackman number two, Colton Prater. from Prater. And here we are back in the way, and right away Chippewa Falls looking to pressure and get that goal back. They get him behind Blackman, but the ball is the, they are not able to keep the ball, and ref, assistant referee raises his flags, and he put it back down again, so I'm not quite sure what that's about, and now a nice little one-two exchange, but uh, the assistant referee on this side indicated the ball had gone out of play, raised his flag, and then his play continued, he lowered it. Not quite sure what was going on with that one. And so it's goal kick for the Raiders. All's well that ends well. Blackman plays it up looking to find Vergara. Does get a nice flick on. Unable to connect with Douglas. Newton shielding the ball, fighting for it. As he is wont to do, real scrappy player. The uh, hockey pedigree you can see there. Really loves to get his hips in there and fight for the ball. Physical, play physical. Ball out for a Raider throw. Blackman again, head up. You can see they've got Willie Douglas playing up top. Flanked by uh, George Newton on the right and Santi Vergara on his left. Hudson looking to build here. Swung it wide to Sean Mountain. Takes one touch, turns to Vergara. Touch, first touch gets a little stuck underneath his feet and then second touch is a little bit too big there. But he fights back nice, he pursues. Nice play there by uh, number 22 for Chippewa Falls to get around him, and Chippewa Falls looks to be on the attack. Oh, unfortunate, touch field in there, and 
Blackman was there to capitalize, and right away we're off. That's uh, played over the top to Willie Douglas. Flag stays down. Great job. And whoa, what a collision. Brave goalkeeping there. Fla assistant referee again raves her flag and puts it down. Looks like both players are okay, fortunately. That was a fantastic collision there from Douglas and uh, the uh, Chippewa Falls goalkeeper, and Yesu Mensa. And Hudson's right back on the attack again. Prater picks the ball up, takes a touch. Oh, well read by the uh, outside defender there. He looks to find his forward. Deflected by Blackman. Dylan Ferrer, calm. Turns, he's got two men on him now. Plays it back. Cross to Little. Little Blackman looking to go big cross field for Vargara. Not able to get enough on it. And Chippewa Falls trying to settle. Haven't had much of the ball lately. Five minutes into the game and they really haven't had any kind of sustained possession. Mountain here with a throw in. Vergara's got a lot of time and space. No one's really talking to him, though. He's got time to turn. Uh, takes one touch. Oh, nice job defensively there by number 13, Cole Oliver. Wins the ball back, and Prater's fighting for the ball. What a fantastic job there to win the ball. He's, can he hold it? Can he hold it? And judged to have been fouled from behind. Looks to be a pretty fair call there. Good, good physical play, but uh, coming from behind the player is generally frowned upon. Willie Douglas with a free kick here for the Raiders. Setting up Newton and uh, looks like... Uh, got a couple, three, four players in there looking for the cross. Comes into Vergara. He gets a touch, but it runs away from him. And Chippewa Falls able to clear it out and tries to get on the attack. But again, Hudson really doing a nice job keeping the pressure on Willie Douglas with a kick little one two there. Tries to find for his feet, unable to. And here we go. Looks like we have a potential for some, I don't know that I'd say numbers up, but uh, Chippewa Falls a little bit of a break. Great job by Hudson. They, they recovered nicely there. They got numbers behind the ball. And then also some really good one-on-one -on -one play there by uh, Sam Schultz on Cole Oliver. So again, if you're just joining us, we're set in the seventh minute here. Hudson's leading one nothing off a third minute goal from uh, Chase Blackman coming on a corner kick assist from Colton Prater. Dribbled the ball in the end line, cut it back. And uh, Blackman was able to hit it hard enough that it snuck beneath the uh, arms of the goalkeeper here. Sam Schultz on the ball now. Hudson trying to play around, getting a little bit. Ooh, and that was a, uh, that was a hit there on Prater. Number 10, Jordan Fashionbauer, just making sure he knows, uh, the freshman knows that there's going to be a fight for the ball here. Ferrer to Blackman, and we're underway. Blackman again picking his head up, looking to go long. Willie Douglas trying to sneak behind, but uh, they're able to clear it there, the defenders are. Nice job stepping up by Mountain, looking for Vergara. Chippewa had that pretty well covered, those three on one had the ball come through. Vergara back in. Ferreira looks for the big switch and able to power it through. One touch, oh, nicely done there. George Newton's got some space in the side. What's he gonna do, take a touch? One touch around the first defender, one time around, the, oh, crosses it in and there's just nobody there for it. Oh my goodness, great chance. Willie Douglas with the ball in the box, touches one and slots it home coolly. What a great play by Willie Douglas. Collects the uh, Aaron clearance. Very calmly and coolly steps around the defender and then slots it into the wide open net. So in the eighth minute of play here, Willie Douglas unassisted, puts Hudson up two nothing. Really, really heads up, classy play there from uh, the Hudson's Number captain. Will Douglas, assisted by number three, George Newton. Beautiful night for soccer here this evening. It was a little bit of threat of rain. End of the JV game, warm up of the varsity game was starting to sprinkle a little bit. You can see if you look into the uh, distance, some dark, ominous rain clouds, but we managed to avoid it. Nice little play there by Hudson. Playing back into the pressure a little bit by uh, Schultz there, though. Probably had a little bit more time. Ooh, and now taking just, being a little too cute with the ball maybe there. Not moving it quick, but uh, maybe not effectively. For a big throw. Flicked on by uh, Vergara to only makes it as far as number 11 for Chippewa Falls there. Chip looking to get back into the game here, down to nothing. Nice job by Mountain. Well worked there by uh, Zacharias. Mountain now switching it over. Alex Lean getting a touch on the ball from the central defender position. Great ball, finding the feet, checking uh, Willie Douglas there. Plays it back to Blackman, and Willie Douglas making another run, looking to go over the top. They're just trying to exploit him athletically. Blackman's got such a big foot, and uh, Douglas has got the speed to get around him. What a great touch again in the box. Settles it to Newton, and Newton and finishes. And there we go, nine minutes into the game. It's 3 nothing, and the uh, the route is on, really. George Newton coming in late. A fantastic job by Blackman over the top there. 
Douglas was able to settle it right around the defender, keep his composure, and uh, Newton and running on just slotted it in far post with his left foot. Number three, George Newton, assisted by number seven, Willie Douglas. So in the space of two minutes, uh, Willie Douglas' class and composure leads to two goals for the Raiders. And now with uh, eight minutes, 17 seconds gone in the first half, Hudson leads Chippewa Falls 3-0. If uh, Coach Solon could have written a script for how his team would come into a big conference game after a really intense weekend of, of soccer, long bus rides, physical games, important games, uh, this would have been it. This is going to give his team the opportunity to uh, relax a little bit and again another one over the top. That was judged to be offside. It looked like it was close. From uh, my vantage point, he was he was right near on the line, but the assistant referee was in a great spot to see that one and deemed him to be offsides. So it'll be interesting to see what Coach Solom does now strategy-wise. Uh, again, they played Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Prior to the Friday game, drove on a bus to uh, Milwaukee. After the Saturday game, drove back. So it's been a, a taxing five days or so here. Nicely done there by Zacharias, touching it first time back to Blackman there. Heads up play, aware of where it is. Uh, you can see, looks like the Raiders are getting ready to bring in Drew Osterhues. So the sub substituting begins, and it'll be interesting to see how much Coach Solom turns to his bench here with the game, at least in this early phase of the first half. Uh, pretty comfortable for the Raiders. Goal kick for the Raiders. Jack Gallagher, senior goalie, setting it up to take it. Hasn't had much work tonight. Santi is coming off, and uh, Drew Osterhuis coming in for the Raiders. 16, Bryce Elkin. And for the Raiders, number 24, Drew Osterhues. And as you heard from uh, the silky smooth sounds of uh, Kyle Flanagan there, number 16, Bryce Elkin has entered the game for the Cardinals. With a nice touch by Prater. Decides to keep the ball himself, plays it through to Newton, and Newton's going to beat him on the uh, foot race, but uh, Chippewa Falls goalie has shown he has no problem coming off his line and uh, recognizes really early and nicely to do that. Osterhues with a lost touch a little bit, but wins the ball back nicely. Good bet. It's a little bit of a scrum in the middle of the field fighting for it. Chippewa Fall comes away with it and see if they can get something started here. Looking to connect, can't quite make it. And now looks like we got to run something working up here on the uh, sideline. Bryce Alkin taking his first touch, unable to complete a pass. Osterhuis wins the ball, looking to play straight away through again. And that's a really nice ball. Splits the defenders. George Newton had the run on early. He stayed on sides. Good recovery by the defender, but it's, oh, <laughs> wasn't going to quite be enough. That was a fantastic job there. Good understanding between Newton and, and uh, Osterhuis. And Osterhuis did a really nice job there playing that ball. The uh, placement and the pace of the ball, the weight was just perfect. Newton's run was timed nicely and uh, resulted, in a, resulted in a shot that Newton just pushed wide. And as you heard, Tyler Cahoon has entered in for the uh, Cardinals who are looking to be able to get into the game. This is not dissimilar to the Hudson-Stillwater game where Stillwater just was able to maintain possession of the ball. And uh, Hudson at, at times struggled to get the, get the game into Stillwater's half, and this even more so the way Hudson's playing right now. Just uh, right now physically, technically, tactically, they're, they're in control of the game. Thrown for the, thrown for the Cardinals. Number 20, Cade Meyer, walking over to take it, recognizing by his uh, full and luscious locks. Big throw, a little bit of a spin there. Huh? Is something that can get called. Referee chooses to allow it. And Chip Falls again, trying to get settled here. Just can't, can't connect that third or fourth pass. They can, they can connect, and you can see the ideas are there, but they just... Oh, Griff Zacharias loses the ball, and here it goes. A little bit of a break for Chippewa Falls. One touch, look, oh, give it back. Look to touch around. Alex Lean, he does so, but the uh, touch a little bit heavy. Lean really had that in, in control, and the ball rolls out for a Hudson goal kick. As I was saying, you can just see with Chippewa Falls, the, uh, not a lot of seniors on their team. A lot of juniors, some sophomores, even a couple freshmen. And the, the ideas are there. The, execution just really fails on me. 
that second or third pass, they can get, but after that, it's, it's just a struggle to connect. And to Hudson's credit, they've uh, maintained their shape nicely defensively and uh, really always have a player in position to capitalize on any missed pass or bad touch. Newton and taking on one player, two player, settles it back for Prater. Prater looking to take on a couple guys. Probably had an opportunity there to play support, but uh, chose to take a chance, which if you're in your offensive third isn't the worst idea. If you're going to take a chance, that's a place to take it. And Chippewa falls back on it. Play defeat. Checked up back through there with no through. Just the up back. And ball runs out of play. Nice crowd here on this uh, side in the, in the uh, grandstand. Not much in the terms of student section. For the, uh, for the big games, you can usually see behind the benches there on the hill uh, a ruckus and uh, boisterous student crowd. La Tuesday night, maybe not the, the premier matchup that they would anticipate, and uh, so probably all at home doing homework, I'm sure. Nice little turn by Willie Douglas, now just play smart. Good support by Zachary, or by Sam Schultz there, looks to get around the player. Nice job there. 15's really doing a fantastic job. Takes the ball away from Dylan Ferreira and plays through. Here comes Chippewa Falls back on number 15's foot. Looks to uh, looks like he was maybe looking to shoot there and just really couldn't connect with the ball. That was a fantastic job. Really, really strong effort there from uh, Lauren Baudet. Uh, nearly took it away from Sam Schultz. Did take it away from Dylan Ferreira. Played a little one-two but just in the end was unable to, again, that, that final touch, that final shot just missing for uh, Chippewa Falls right now. So that was far and away the best chance that the uh, Cardinals have had and at this point in time that's not going to be enough for him. Ball's back in play, Hudson wins the throw in, settles to Prater, Prater takes one touch. Nice job checking back there, well won by Bryce Alkin. Turns gets his head up and looking to, looks like he's looking to play again, number 15. Uh, but a through, but uh, pass was just a little high and wide. Goal kick Raiders. If you're just joining us, we are 15 minutes into the first half. It's 3-0 Hudson. Th goals in the third, eighth, and ninth, ninth minutes, excuse me, from Chase Blackman, Willie Douglas, and George Newton. And for chip number seven, Shane Shaws. And in for the Raiders, number 10, Santi Vergara. Vergara back into the game for the Raiders, coming in for uh, George Newton. Over the top, let's see if there's a foot race on. Can Willie do it? And he does, and what a really nice soft, soft touch here to play it in behind. Not to, oh, place it just a little bit far ahead. No call there. Looks like he got a poke on the tackle. He took a chance, and uh, the gamble paid off on that occasion. <laughs> that was a close one, Zacharias. Looked like he nearly got his head on a nice turn by Vergara. Puts it up and over. Oh, what a great opportunity there for the Raiders. Zacharias nearly got his head on it, but it fell nicely to Vergara. He turned nicely, and then on his uh, left foot, looked to bend it in there far post and just couldn't quite shape it into, uh, into the corner that he wanted. Good chance for the Raiders. 16 minutes in, three nothing Hudson. Goal kick Chippewa Falls. Nearly won by Osterhuis there. Prater pressuring the ball. Zacharias, one, two, three players. Nice recovery there. They're able to split it. And uh, here go the uh, Cardinal. Great job by Alex Lee. And again, that uh, Hudson back line's really been there. His touch is a little bit heavy and it's gonna result in a throw in for Chippewa Falls in the Hudson half. Let's see if Chip can do something with this one. Looks like uh, seven Sh Shane Schaus over there for uh, Chippewa Falls. They've pushed up one, two, three, four, five, six guys. Only got three back. Willie Douglas is hanging out on the midfield line. If anything pops through right for uh, Chase Blackman, he can turn and fire that thing about 60, 70 yards, and Willie Douglas is off to the races. Looks like what Alex Lean was trying to do. Droster is there to pick up the errant chest touch, and then here's Blackman, touch around one, and his head's up. Nope. Zacharias takes it, touch around one, got a man pressuring him, cuts it back. Can he maintain possession? No, loses the ball. Number 13, Cole Oliver's that got it there. Oliver looking to turn, double teamed, and they want it back end. We're off to the races again. That's very much. Oh, come on. Looks like a close call. Seemed like the uh, players were in an onside position when the ball was played, but uh, deemed to have been offsides. Chip would, Chip would look like they're trying to play a little bit of offsides, offsides trap there with their defender stepping up as the ball was played in an attempt to play Hudson into an offsides position and it worked for him there and Dylan Ferrer with a nice touch right away to the feet of Willie Douglas. Played off a little bit of miscommunication there maybe. Sean Mountain picks it up back to Douglas. Be Douglas turns, heads up, drops it to Dylan Ferrer. Kind of Hudson content to play here on the, their left side of the field. Ferrer now head up and again we're looking to go over the top. 
Also used, can he get a flick on it? He does nice. Oh, just can't quite angle it to Vergara. But uh, you can see the thought was there. Chippa Falls able to clear it. Zacharias on the ball, able to get a touch to Blackman, who plays straight up, looking for Vergara, and it was nicely cut off there by Schaus. Can he keep it in here? Yes, he can. And Chippa Falls going to get possession. A little bit of pressure, light pressure by Oster Hughes, but otherwise Hudson content to let uh, Chippa Falls kick it back and forth there with a 3 nothing lead. They can have it there all they want as far as the uh, Raiders are concerned. Blackman right away again looking to go big. Game's gotten a little sloppy here in the last couple minutes. Let's see if Prater can settle that down. Drop it back to Ferreira. Mountain getting wide. Schultz playing a little one-two with his uh, center back there, and Fer looking to slot uh, Douglas through. Came off the defender. Oh, what a cheeky little play. Good overlapping run from Mountain. Can the uh, defender, oh. Nice little one-two combination play there from Douglas and Mountain. Mountain could not uh, get the ball past the defenders there. They did a nice job shifting over and deflecting it out. It's gonna be a throw-in. Austin Hughes looking to go big. Got Douglas in the box, calling for the ball. Zacharias coming up. Oster Hughes plays it in near post. Look to get a flick on. Could not quite get the touch that he wanted. And Mike Agnesu Mensa, the goalkeeper for Chippewa Falls, picks it up easily. Punts it. Takes one, two bounces. Sam Schultz just plays it back in. One by Colton Prater. And now settled down by uh, Chippewa Falls. Play through for, uh, looks like we got over 15 there. And it falls to another 15. Alex Lean picks the ball up. Right to Zachariah's feet. Oh, nice turn there. Well done. Read the pressure, felt it on his back, and turned right around over the top there. That looked like that was pretty easy off. Douglas got a little bit greedy there. He's got the physical ability to outrun those defenders. Doesn't need to hang out that far, especially with a 3 nothing lead. They got time. Got to kind of almost check back and bend that run around to keep himself on side. Run diagonal to the uh, back line instead of vertical towards the goal. Chippewa Falls free kick, just about a midfield. Number 11, Matthew Martineau, big leg. Try to get a touch on it, and there's the first real action for Hudson's goalkeeper. Great job by Jack Gallagher there, picking up that ball as it fell uh, in front of him. And we're back underway, quick restart. Sean Mountain takes one touch, two touch, head up, cuts it back, back to Ferreira. Typically playing it back to Mountain here instead of looking to switch play. Chippewa Falls starting to pick up their pressure now. Nice positioning there for uh, Oster Hughes. Takes a couple touches, got a man on him, looking to absorb that physical pressure, and Great job pursuit there by the defender. Just really stuck with it and waited for Oster Hughes to give it away. Ball ricochets off of uh, Drew and it's out for Hudson Thurl. Got a substitution for both teams coming in here. We'll listen to Kyle Flanagan let us know who it is. Looks like George Newton's coming in and number three for Chippewa Falls. And that's Dylan Schimmel. In for the cards, number three, Dylan Schimmel. And for the winners, number three, George Newton. Some good flexibility there for Sam Schultz, a little over the top. Foster, ooh, <laughs> a lucky, fortunate for Alex Lean that uh, we were back there. Another offsides. Uh, yep. Hudson is, uh, Hudson's been getting caught off the sides a lot here, getting a little greedy. They got that three nothing lead. Everyone wants to get a uh, wants to get in on the action, and that impatience is being punished as Chippewa Falls is looking to hold a high line, step up as the ball's played, and catch Hudson players off sides. And at this point in time, Hudson's happy to oblige him. And we're back underway, 22nd minute. Hudson up three nothing. Chippewa Falls on the ball. Tries to split two defenders. Nice job by Zacharias there. It's one touch, but it only falls as far as uh, number 10 for Chippewa Falls. Jordan Fashionbauer, and he looks to flick it over the top. Cleared nicely by Dylan Ferreira, and oh, almost won. Fashionbauer maintains possession. Nice effort there on his part. And that's uh, number 11, Matthew Martineau. Fashionbauer again. Alex Lean looks like he's got it. Takes a touch. Can he get a turn to maintain possession? What a nice job. Oh, what a nice job there keeping the ball in play and winning a throw in for the Raiders. So far, 23 minutes in, everything is working out just as Hudson would like. They're up 3 nothing. Comfortable possession, comfortable. Uh, the game is playing to their advantage. 
see if Chippewa Falls can do something here in the second half of the first half, second part of the first half to, uh, to change that script, change that narrative. Looks like we got some uh, Hudson JV2 players rolling in after their game. Cheer on the uh, varsity team. Blackman takes a touch around one, head up, slots it through. Nicely done there, Zacharias. Ooh, good physical challenge there to uh, push Zacharias off the ball. And what can they do? Looks like we got uh, Schuss tries to take on one man so he can dribble into another man. And we got a throw in for Cardinals. Looking to flick it over the top. Nice position there by Colton. And uh, he's going over the top for uh, Vargara. That's absolutely on sides. Ball bends nicely for Vargara. He tries to touch around the defender, keeps a good position. Tries to touch him around him again. Get a nice job by the defender. They're just being in the right spot, not uh, committing and uh, winning the ball for the uh, Cardinals. And here they come on the attack. Looks like they have an opportunity, trying to get some numbers up, but uh, oh, took a little chance there and it worked out for Ferreira. Clears it over to Blackman. Blackman just trying to clear it up and out, and he does so. Gonna have a substitution here for the Cardinals. Looks like that's number 20, Cade Meyer, coming in with his uh, very full head of hair. Settled here by Newton and takes one challenge, he can't hit the other. Blackman again with that big right foot over the top for Oster Hughes. His first touch carries him into the defender, but he's able to really handle the physical challenge there. They let that go. They both wanted it, and the referee allowed them to uh, pursue that. Oster Hughes with the throw. He's going to not wait. Zacharias comes up. Three chip wall falls. Players combined to head it out. And uh, Blackman looking to go to not quite sure whom. It's a, it's a real who's who of Hudson soccer here tonight as uh, JV2 coach Scott Ellingson's in the crowd here out with the boys to uh, take in the game. Coach Ellingson back uh, coaching for the Raiders after a hiatus. I'm sure he's going to have valuable insights to share with uh, Coach Solom from the high vantage point of the uh, stands here. Again, just looking looking really to go direct Hudson as they kind of get the ball anywhere in the in the middle of the field and that first thought is just up and over the top, up and over the top. They're it's real content to pass it around in the back, but once they have the opportunity, that first look is uh, is to go big and uh, try and get past behind the defender of Agar just a little bit too far. Nice positioning there. Martino now fighting and they're gonna call a foul on Vergara for pursuing Martineau. Chippewa Falls center defenders in the last uh, 10 minutes or so have done a, a better job of causing the uh, Hudson players to be offside and also uh, dealing with that physical pressure with the real aggressive Hudson uh, strategy here. They're, they're winning some of those one-on-one -on -one battles or putting themselves in position so that uh, if the Hudson player makes a mistake, they're right there to pick it up. So nice job adjusting and settling in here by uh, Chippewa Falls to stop the bleeding a little bit. Let's see if they can now turn some of that uh, defensive composure into offensive production. Newton back to a Mountain Mountain with a nice little touch. Second defender was able to uh, win it away though. That's Schimmel coming over to help and uh, it'll be a Raider throw in. Austrius picks it up and can we go right away? Oh, oh, Vergara was making the run. The fans were calling for it, but uh, Austin Hughes decides to uh, take a step back and uh, not even take the throw, actually. Sean Mountain, all the way back to Dylan Ferreira. Waits, got a player approaching, composed there. Mountain's first touch a little high, but then he settles it nicely. And again, we are uh, looking to play straight through, and the Raiders are off sides. The times that they have been able to keep themselves in an onside position when the ball's played. Hudson really has not struggled that much running past the Chippewa Falls defenders. They just need to uh, keep that sound positioning and uh, show a little bit of patience here. Oh, great job there by uh, Sean Mountain. Wasn't fooled by the little nutmeg attempt. Right in the spot he's supposed to be. 
throwing for Chippewa Falls. Number two, Ryan Wynett. Riley, pardon me, Wynett. And here we go, oh, nice one, two, one. Two players, what a fantastic job there. What a fantastic job by Cade Meyer. Kind of one, two, two players. His final touch, he got a little bit of a physical hookup and uh, third defender was able to clear it off, but that was the one of the better things we've seen from Chippewa Falls in the Hudson box. Not able to clear it out. Here's a dangerous opportunity for the Raiders, or for the uh, Cardinals, excuse me. One touch back, can they do anything with it? And they cannot. Great job by Hudson. And we got a little sticky in there. There was uh, a lot of bodies in the box. Chippewa Falls had numbers, and uh, Hudson finally was able to clear it. Willie Douglas touched a little bit too far ahead of him. Sam Schultz over the top, and they're off to the races again. Drew Osterhus, does he have the speed to uh, get past the defender? Doesn't matter. Keepers out nicely as he has uh, done a number of times tonight. Willie Douglas looks to settle it, and Fashion Bauer's there to pick it up. Can he keep it in play for the Cardinals? He can. Takes the deflection off of, uh, looks like Chase Blackman there. The ball goes in, Blackman's right there to pick it up. Takes one look, nothing there. Back to Zacharias, splits the defenders to Newton, and Newton turns. Oh, got to have a head on a swivel there. Needs to know what's behind him. Uh, he either needs to see it, or his teammates need to tell him no turn. No worries, though, as Ferrer picks it up to Schultz. Schultz, uh, again, turning into players. Up, need, to, uh, need to have your teammates let you know if you got that turn or not. Ferreira now, head up. One, two guys on him. Looks to play to Schultz. And uh, Chippewa falls back in possession. And uh, ooh, a nice little chip attempt over the top. Great job there by Alex Lee being in a good position, getting up and strongly winning that header. And now great effort from the captain there. Willie Douglas working back, tries to touch around the defender. Uh, and he's able to just about do so and is fouled in the attempt to maintain possession here. Hudson, th uh, free kick, pardon me. Pretty clean game so far, really. A couple of uh, little physical battles, but by and large, there has not been a, a very physical game. Blackman looking over the top for Vergara. One nicely there by uh, number 18, Mitchell Brunke. He's done, uh, he's done a nice job back there with his uh, with headband. Substitutions coming in for uh, Chippewa Falls, got a couple of them. They have uh, really worked their players through here, getting a lot of guys in the game, more so than Coach Stolman. Looks like he's pretty much stuck to his uh, his standard substitution pattern. Although now we got a player getting up coming off. Looks like Prater's gonna come back in the game. Seven in for Chippewa Falls, number 15, Lorraine Bardet, number 12, Ethan Crocker, number five, Brady Wendt. Hudson back line content to sit deep, not keep everything in front of him, and just win the ball. It's been a pretty good strategy so far. There's a little bit more of that physicality. Great job by Osterhus, and that is, again, judged to be offsides. It's, uh, there's been a couple that have been pretty easy calls. There have been a couple that have been tight. And uh, again, Hudson just is not demonstrating the patience that they need to at this point in time. Coach Stolen providing some uh, coaching points there to uh, George Newton from the sideline. Goal kick for the Raiders. We are 32 minutes into the, uh, in the 32nd minute, excuse me, of the first half. Hudson leads 3-0 off of goals and the three goals in the first 10 minutes. Chase Blackman scored in the third minute off an assist from uh, Colton Prater. In the eighth minute, Willie Douglas collected a... Colton uh, Prater. In the eighth minute, Willie Douglas collected a uh, deflected shot, a rebound, and very calmly stepped around a defender and slotted into the net. And in the ninth minute, he again collected a nice long ball, touched around a defender. Here comes Newton, and wow, what a fantastic effort from him. Look at the speed, look at the pursuit. Really nicely done there. As I was saying, Newton has been rewarded with that kind of effort already this, this afternoon in the uh, ninth minute with a goal off an assist from uh, Willie Douglas. Uh, Hudson looked for a quick restart there, but uh, referee didn't like where they took the throw from, so he was asking him to do it again. Ball in, Vergara to uh, Newton. In. Newton looks at her, oh, nice defensive play. Wasn't fooled at all by that. Vergara takes a little, does that hesitation really nicely. He's going to take a shot here, looking to bend at far post, and the goalie was all over that. Yeah, the goalie did a really nice job reading, uh, reading Vergara's body language there. You could see him setting up. He was... Uh, trying to trying to bend that shot into the far post, and the goalie was all over. Took a step out, cut that angle off, and made the save look easy. And here comes Triple Falls. Oh, and now we've got around. We've got a little one-on-one -on -one situation here. Can they recover? Nice job by Mountain coming back. He got beat initially. Ferreira caused the uh, 
chip player to take a touch maybe that he didn't want to take, have to cut it in, and Mountain was right there to pick it up. And oh, great job by Ferreira. Just the pursuit by the Raiders, that has to be onside. Doesn't matter in this case because the uh, ball was too far. And here goes Chippewa Falls again, looking to get there. Number 20 here, uh, Cade Myers really been their most dangerous offensive player. He's working hard physically. He's, he's got a little bit of speed on him, a little bit of uh, some touch. And uh, that's through Vergara Pursues, and that's a nice bounce for him. Fantastic job, and can he finish now? Takes a shot from outside the box. There's a little bit of a deflection, but uh, he was one on four in that situation, so there's just nobody there to click, pick up that uh, rebound, and really, frankly, wasn't much of a rebound at all. Nice job by the goalie, keeping that uh, in front of him. And cleaning it up. Blackman gets the first touch off the punt. Alex Lean takes it, looks to find the feet, looks like of Sam Schultz there. Uh, excuse me, Griff Zacharias, unable to. And we're going to get a throw in here for the Cardinals. Throw in for the Cardinals. They're trailing 3 nothing. Fashion Bauer plays the ball. I think that's over to uh, Crocker there. Crocker cuts it back. Plays support. Looking to uh, split the defenders. They're able to. And then the Chip has got three guys in the same space, basically, here. Works out to uh, Raiders' advantage. Again, Chip are really trying to play in that same solid space, unable to switch the fields at all. Let's see what Willie Douglas has here. Really nice job by the defender. That's going to be an easy call. Hands extended on the back of the defender. Uh, I'm not quite sure what Willie's so upset about. Looked like he uh, gave uh, Matthew Martineau a helpful push from behind to get to the ground. It's a free kick for the uh, for the Cardinals. Martineau, the player fouled, will looks like he's going to take it over there. Having a little conversation with the assistant ref, maybe about the minutia of uh, ball placement there. And we are underway. Sam Schultz looks to come in, can't quite get a foot on it, but it falls to uh, Sean Mountain. Back to Schultz, he turns and plays a ball through for Vergara. Oh, Number three's off, he's not playing the ball. It, uh, another offside call. It's uh, providing lots of uh, conversation fodder for the uh, fans here in the stands here. The uh, frequency of the frequency of the Hudson offside calls. Looks like Willie Douglas a little upset about what's going on here, having some conversations with his coach about keeping his composure. Alex Lean plays it deflected off the Chippewa Falls player. We got a throw in here for the Raiders, and there's going to be substitution. Drew Osteries is coming in, looks like. And plays to Santi Vergara. In for Hudson number 24, Drew Osterhues. 36 minute. Hudson leading 3 0 over Chippewa Falls. Dylan Ferrer with a big kick looking to find Willie Douglas' head. Unable to win it, and judged to have fouled as well on uh, again on Matthew Martin. Those two have collided a couple times in the last couple minutes. Nothing real uh, nefarious, nothing real mean-spirited, but uh, Martin has gotten the worst of it, and he plays the ball right in on frame almost there. What a great opportunity for Chippewa Falls! Can they convert? Oh my goodness gracious! Thank goodness for the Raiders, uh, but unable to clear it. Chippewa Falls still off the box. Fashi Bar returns. He's got two men on him. Tries to chip it over the top, and he's able to find his teammate. Ferrer's on his back. Mountain over to help. Can they prevent him from turning? They're working hard there. He's worked great job by the Hudson Raiders there. And here comes Prater. Douglas takes one touch. Prater's running. Can oh Douglas just can't quite get enough on it. Needed to send a little bit more into that space, but it only comes as far as George Newton. And he takes touch run one. Looks touch around the second. Great side tackle. Goes to ground. And when you do that, you got to get the ball. And that time he did. Oh, nice job there. Great skill by Willie Douglas. Plays George Newton and through. Uh, or as the case may be, plays George Newton off sides. Interesting to see if Hudson can keep their composure here in a game that they're winning 3 nothing. Seem to be getting uh, quite upset in a situation that they have rather comfortably under control. Little header passing there between the uh, Raiders and the Cardinals. George Newton wants to get tricky and only just allows the Cardinals to get back on the ball again. Number 20, Cade Myers, really been the focal point for any and all dangerous play for the uh, Cardinals. Uh, Faschenbauer kind of playing in the midfield has, has done his part. And Prater off of Newton and throwing Cardinals. Riley Wainet, uh, Wainet, excuse me, is over to take the uh, throw in. First, we're going to have a substitution for the Cardinals. It looks like number 13 is coming in for them, Cole Oliver. Ow. 
as the sunset started to get a little more brisk here this evening. There's Prater getting a touch on, looking to go big on a sliding Eddie, kick. Number 13, Cole Oliver. Chippewa Falls looking to create something here. We got Chase Blackman defending. What a nice one two turn. That was really fantastic skill and looks at the opportunity there for the Cardinals. Oh, really good stuff there from Chippewa Falls. That was some fantastic skill to get around Chase Blackman. Really, absolutely one of Hudson's best players. That was uh, Chippewa Falls starting to look dangerous here. They've gotten settled into the game. Hudson's. Uh, Urgency on the ball has allowed them Chippewa Falls to get the ball more frequently here. There's a flick on. That's really the first shot. I know. Oh, what a great save by uh, Gallagher and way to keep his head there. As a uh, <coughs> excuse me, way to keep his head as Cade Meyer was really right in his face. Just about took a cleat to the face actually. But uh, all's well that ends well from the Raiders' perspective here. But Chippewa Falls starting to look a little comfortable here. There's just at the very tail end of the first half here. They're trailing three nothing, but if it continues like this. They uh, are creating the type of chances that are going to lead to goals. Both with some uh, individual play and uh, combination play. And here they come again. We got numbers. Hudson's looking a little disorganized. Chippewa Falls is able to really get a lot closer. Nicely cleared there by Dylan Ferrer and Hudson looking again to go direct right away. Can Oster Hughes win it back? He can't. Great job. And here they come. Head of steam there for the uh, central offender. Unable to connect with anyone, and it's up for a Hudson goal kick. We're in the 40th minute now as Chippewa Falls in the last five minutes has uh, really turned up the heat on the Raiders. Hudson started to uh, get a little bit frustrated with the number of offsides calls, and uh, Chippewa Falls was, as Hudson was pressing to get through and get through and get through, Chippewa Falls started to see a little bit more of the ball, and they've gotten a little bit more comfortable here. Late first half substitution for Chippewa Falls. Looks like uh, number eight, Tyler Cahoon, comes back or comes into the game. Blackman with the uh, goal kick, looking for Oster Hughes. Bounces over the top. Up oh, there's two in for the Cardinals there, my apologies. And here we go again, Ferreira, can he get a touch on? Clears it out, settled by Zacharias. Looks to take one touch around, unable to do so. That was uh, defended nicely there by number 15, Cole Oliver. Now Bauer on the ball. Bauer plays it up to uh, 12. Drops it off, Chippewa Falls again, having more possession. And you can see they're deep, getting deeper and deeper into uh, Hudson's territory. Oh, that's got to be a that's got to be a foul. He stuck his foot out, and that's going to be a penalty kick. That was, in fact, in the box. Alex Lean left his feet. He did not get a touch on the ball and very clearly took the uh, offensive player. Looked to try and stay on his feet there for a moment, but it was unable to. And uh, as he went down, referee called the foul, put his... Blue is whistling, so it looks like it's going to be a little mano a mano. Number 10, Jordan Faschenbauer for the Cardinals. And number 12, Jack Gallagher in goal for the Raiders. Great chance here at the end of the first half to get some momentum for Triple Falls. Faschenbauer takes it, and Gallagher glued to the spot. Faschenbauer slots it into the net, and it is now 3-1 in favor of Hudson. So in the 41st minute, Jordan Faschingbauer scores from the penalty spot to match the three goals or to start to chip into the three-goal lead that Hudson had from their third minute, eighth minute, and ninth minute goals. So let's see what Hudson can do for here for the last couple of uh, minutes of the first half. Jordan Faschingbauer. A little bit of a switch. They dropped Sam Schultz back to central defender. Dylan Ferrer is up as a uh, forward now. Look. There was a, a little bit of a what are we doing from uh, Coach Solom over there. And uh, Colton Prater here now is in. He can't be offsides on a throw in, so he's got the ball. He touches it, and what are they going to do? Hudson's going to answer with a goal. Fantastic heads up play there by Colton Prater. Right away, he cannot be offsides on a throw in, so as he runs behind the defenders, he was the uh, Johnny on the spot there, takes a nice touch, and what a fabulous, fabulous uh, goal. So, in the space of you know less than a minute. Going for the Hudson Raiders, number two, Colton Prater. Hughes. Also need to give credit for Oster Hughes there for recognizing that opportunity. They uh, they got a throw in and right away Chippewa Falls fell asleep. They were standing still. Hudson had two guys that knew what was going on and looked to take advantage of it and they did so really fantastically. It was, a, it was a fantastic run, great throw, and then the touch and to settle it with a nice little chip over the oncoming goalkeeper. And Hudson's three goal lead is restored. <laughs> Offside's called again. Willie Douglas throws his arms up in uh, frustration, but flag goes up, whistle gets blown. 
Whether Willie Douglas likes it or not, it's offsides. So again, we are coming down here. We're in the 42nd minute of play. It is a four to one lead for Hudson. They scored three goals in the first 10 minutes and then both teams scored goals in the 41st minute. Chipper falls from the penalty kick and Hudson off a heads up play by uh, Colton Prater on a throw in to get in behind the defense and score. Here's a throw in for Hudson. Hudson looks like there's a little bit more urgency, a little bit of a fire under him here after that goal. So uh, they're really pressure and high there. Prater and Douglas working together. They win the throw in for the Raiders. Looks like Austin is going to take it again. Chippewa Falls dropping a little bit deeper this time, not wanting to get uh, caught like they did Blackman right away. And of course, he's looking to go big and a great job by George Newton. And can the goalie get there? And he does. Really, that's about the fourth time he's come out of his box to get his foot on the ball. Uh, he recognizes it quickly. He's off his line quick and he's able to get it. Oh, just a little bit of a miscommunication there. Griff Zachary is not able, not able to settle it, but it falls to George Newton. And just a minute or two left here uh, in the in the half. George Newton's got the ball, looks to play it in from the flank. Cleared out nicely, falls only as far as Sam Schultz. Schultz plays it over, looking for Blackman. Can Blackman keep it in? Just looks like he's unable to. Nice idea there. The uh, support play there, Blackman may be a little bit narrow. And also Schultz ball just played a little bit wider where Blackman had the space in front of him. 40. Number 16. Bryce Elkin. Elkin into the game here in the 43rd minute of play of a game. Hudson leads 4-1. It's a rather uh, exciting opening quarter of an hour with Hudson really putting the pressure on and scoring three goals because of it. From about the 15th minute to the 42nd minute, you witnessed what happened, which was a series of long balls by Hudson, followed by the referee raising her flag to indicate offsides. Chippewa Falls under penalty kick in the 41st minute that they converted, and Hudson promptly scored again to restore the three-goal lead, and that's where we got where we're at here. 44th minute of play, coming in, about two minutes left in the first half. Ferrer clears it back up. Ping-ponging around a little bit there. Willie Douglas looking to win the ball. A lot of physical pressure. Keep it on, does win the ball, turns, and it uh, goes up for Chippewa Falls throw. And Oster Hughes takes one touch, just about loses the ball, able to with the physical challenge, takes another couple touches, plays it through to, uh, looks like he plays it through to number seven there, but I don't think the number seven he was looking for. He was looking for Willie Douglas. Shane Schaus was the one that ends up, uh, that uh, comes up with the ball, but there's Douglas with the pressure. And the ball bounces back to uh, the very alert Mike Anyisu Mensa who has spent uh, all night getting off his line quick. He's had to make some tough saves, and he's had to be very alert. And here we go, Griff Zacharias now coming down the right flank. He's got one man in front of him, able to just about touch it around him. A uh, little bit of a physical collision, no call. And uh, Chippewa Falls comes through with the ball. Good pressure, Griff. Hudson's got the ball in the corner here. Yeah, good. Willie Douglas takes around one, takes around two, can't get around the third, but uh, looks like he wins the ball back and wins a foul. Looks like that was uh, that was in the box. Looks like we've uh, awarded a penalty kick here for the Raiders. So Willie Douglas, with a fantastic individual effort, is able to sneak in front of the defender, get the ball, and he gets taken down. So second penalty kick of the half here, 45th minute, about 30 seconds left in the first half. Willie Douglas is going to step up, looking to uh, convert the penalty that he won and establish a four goal lead for the Raiders. Final instructions to the goalkeeper. Willie Douglas eyeing him down. Hopefully he doesn't get uh, unbalanced there with the heavy cast and protection on his right hand. Takes a little bit of a wound up. And oh, and it's oh, what a fabulous save. Oh, it falls right to Dylan Ferreira who can't convert it. And Drew Osterhuis puts it into the net in the 45th minute. What a fabulous, fabulous save there by Mike Anyesu Mensa. The uh, Chippewa Falls goalkeeper has just done a nice job tonight. He's given up five goals, but uh, the effort that he's put in and the skill that he's de demonstrated is uh, to be commended. So in the 45th minute, however, despite all those accolades, it's the fifth goal that's been put in by the Raiders here in the first half. That was by uh, Drew Osterhuis off a uh, penalty kick save. Dylan Ferrer followed up with uh, an attempt to get his himself a goal, and Osterhuis was there for the third follow-up, and he converted. So, with 30 seconds left in the first half here, Hudson Raiders 
are leading the Chippewa, Fall, Chippewa Falls Cardinals by a score of five to one. So what can Chippewa Falls do here? Can they get that last Eight, second goal? Seven, Not with six, the pace they're playing right now. Five, three, oh, quite two, an acrobatic play, a little one. bit of a connection. And that's the half. And there we have it. After 45 minutes of play, the Hudson Raiders lead the Chippewa Falls Cardinals by a score of five to one. Goals for the Raiders in the first half. Scored in the third minute by Chase Blackman off an assist from Colton Prater. In the eighth minute, Willie Douglas scored unassisted. And Douglas assisted in the ninth minute on a goal for George Newton. In the 41st minute, Chippewa Falls answer back with a penalty kick from uh, Faschenbauer, Jordan Faschenbauer. Hudson then scored Less than a minute later, uh, Colton Prater from Drew Osterhuis, and then in the 45th minute, Drew Osterhuis made the score five to one, coming off a couple deflections from a Willie Douglas penalty kick. That's all we got from the first half. We'll see you in the second half. The fans are getting settled in here. Ra Raiders are pumping themselves up. Looks like we've got one conversation going on here between the uh, center ref and his assistant. Not quite sure what that's about. The uh, players hopefully stayed warm during halftime. Now that the sun's gone down, it's uh, it's gotten brisk. Brisk for an early to mid-September evening. Moon shining through the clouds. It's a beautiful evening to enjoy a game of soccer. And Dylan Ferrer is ready. Apparently no one else is. So we rewind it and start again. That's good. Nice little warm-up jog to start the uh, second half. Fur gets himself a little bit uh, more space there. And uh, second time's a charm. Fur's looking to get in. He wants his goal. Blackman over the top. Fur's running. Picked up nice and easy there by the uh, Chipper Falls goalkeeper. Really got to give him credit. He's his... Strength surely is his quickness off the line and his ability to read the game in that situation. He sees those balls early and he gets going. Vergara takes a little touch, loses a quick a little bit of miscommunication, but here come the chip falls. Number 13 really got trying to get around Mountain there. Oh, Mountain's turn turns it right back in, and here comes Chippewa Falls with an opportunity, crossing to the box. Got a couple players nicely settled by Lean and cleared out there by uh, looks like Schultz, but only as far as number 11 sells it over to three. Plays it wide there. Oh, looks a nice little combination play. Mountain working back and forth. One man defending two there, and he's doing a nice job of it. Sean Mountain there, able to uh, prevent the cross from getting in. It does, however, go out for a corner kick for Chippewa Falls. <laughs> looks like number 13, Cole Oliver, is going to be over there to take it, and Chippewa Falls puts in, well, wisely, just about everybody. They take the short corner right away with nobody over there. Oliver. Slots it back over, touches around one player, can't touch around the second. Ferreira can only clear it as far as the top of the box there, but Chippewa Falls, I don't they'll make anything of it. Hudson had uh, 10 of their 11 players in the box. Not much space there to dribble through. Chippewa Falls does maintain possession, though. Throw in, cleared up by, uh, off the deflection by Newton to Willie Douglas. Unable to get a touch on, but a great recovery run there by number 22. Douglas wins the ball though, head up, run there by Prater, sucks the defenders into Vergara, runs into the referee there, can tend to happen, Willie Douglas wins the ball back again, dribbles past one, gets a little clip, deemed to have been a foul, free kick Hudson. Center ref wants the uh, ball back where the foul occurred, not where Hudson would like it to be played. That was worth a try, though. Douglas standing over, Blackman standing over, Blackman plays it up. Tons of space there, really well done again. Looks like that's uh, Prater's over there. Takes a touch around one, drops it back to Blackman, Blackman settles. He's got a big right foot. Oh, only flicks it back to uh, Douglas. Douglas touches around one player, dribbles two. Douglas looking to double a third. Looks to cross the ball in, and uh, third time's the charm for the Chippewa Falls defense there as they're able to uh, block that. But the ball does go out of touch, uh, into touch, excuse me, and that's going to be a Hudson corner kick, as they did in the first half. Both Willie Douglas and Colton Prater are over there. One time Douglas uh, took the ball back and tried to cross it. That led to a second corner that uh, Prater dribbled along the end line and cut back for uh, Osterhuis. 
excuse me, for Chase Blackman for the opening goal. This time they play it back to Willie Douglas again. He looks to cross it in onto the net, deflected by one. Not good communication there by the Chippewa Falls defense. Number uh, 22 there was blocking his goalie. Fortunately for Chippewa Falls, it worked out for him. Mountain wins the ball to Douglas. Douglas back to Mountain. Mountain's touch loses just a little bit, but then he's able to play it up to Newton and, and offsides. In the initial phases of the first, second half here, pardon me, the first couple minutes, uh, Hudson playing a little bit more controlled. Not trying to play quite so direct, quite so quickly. Griff Zacharias settles, or excuse me, Sam Schultz settles it, and just as I say that, takes a touch and kicks it behind the defense. Settled in here, number 20, uh, Cade Meyer. Oh, under pressure from Douglas, plays it up. Alex Lean looks to settle. First touch, second touch settles it, and Chipper falls on the attack. Nice job by Blackman getting in, shielding the ball, turns it to Schultz. Schultz can't quite get a touch on it. Oh, but he wins the ball nicely there. And one touch, and looks right away to slot it through to uh, Newton and can't do it. Nice job by the defender there, but the ball does ricochet to Newton anyways. Who plays it to Vergara? Vergara's got one man on him, looks to connect with Newton, but it comes to Douglas. Douglas cuts it back, looks to slot it through here. That, uh, excuse me, that was Prater looking to f there to Douglas. That was on sides, but again, the goalie off his line quickly and alertly deflects it. Everyone looks like they're okay though. Schultz to Prater. Prater looks, splits the defender, but nobody was there. Vergara was running in behind That's the great. defender, but nice job by Griff Zacharias there to win the ball back and it falls to Newton. And Newton and able to maintain possession. Uh, can he slot it to Zacharias? So he's making the run. He can. Zacharias just unable to get his foot on the ball. That was a uh, really nice job there by uh, number 22 for Chippewa Falls to uh, mark that run and prevent Zacharias from getting a shot on goal. Ball out for a uh, goal kick for the Cardinals. A little bit more energy here at the uh, start of the second half than we had through parts of the first half. Goal kick falls to Zacharias and then to Vergara. Plays it through for Willie Douglas. He shields out the defenders, touches around one, touches around two, around the goalie again off his line smartly, but only as far as George Newton. And, and there's your half dozen, folks. In the uh, 51st minute. Willie Douglas dribbles two. His shot gets saved really nicely by the goalkeeper, Mike Agnes. Number three, George Newton, assisted by number seven, Willie Douglas. We're going to give Douglas an assist for that one, uh, as it was his strong dribbling and uh, shots that led to Newton's goal. A couple substitutions looks like. Uh, Wait for uh, Kyle Flanagan here to inform us who checked into the game. Oster Hughes for sure, I see. And we're back underway here. Ooh, big pressure, big pressure. Ooh, fortunate there for the Raiders. They had a two-on-one and they both overran the ball. Uh, Oster Hughes looking to connect with an overlap there. Goes up for a throw in. Can they recover? Oh. Looks like a little bit of miscommunication there. And uh, it's going to be a throw in for the Cardinals. They, uh, got a, they've got a task ahead of them. They currently trail in the 52nd minute by a score of 6 to 1. Their one goal coming off of a penalty kick. So from the run of play. Chippewa Falls has yet to really create any sort of dangerous chances. The penalty kick was the culmination of a solid five to ten minutes of offensive play from the Cardinals towards the end of the first half, where they did get a shot on goal and produce some dangerous possession in and around the Raider box. But other than that, really five to five to ten minute stretch. Hudson's been in uh, complete and comfortable control. Throw in for the Raiders. To the Cardinals. Nicely won in the air there. Newton attempts to settle. And went.
wins the throw in for the Raiders. Ostrich is going to take it. We've got uh, Colton Prater again trying to sneak in behind on the non offsides with the throw in. Chipper was a little bit more prepared for it this time. And they're pushing Prater back, pushing Prater back. And now, oh, looks to turn there. Unable to. That was the. Uh, Really one of the nicer goals and, a, and I think a key moment in the match. Chippewa Falls had just gotten their first goal to make it 3-1, to one, which is a, a doable score, really. And within 30 seconds, Hudson had a throw and Colton Prater right away recognized, made a run. Osterhuis threw a big over the top, and uh, Prater was able to chip it over, restore the three-goal lead, and really kind of take the wind out of Chippewa Falls' sails here. There's Prater looking to get another goal for himself. Settles and fires quickly. Really not quite able to get his foot around it and put it near the uh, net. Goal kick. Chippewa Falls. Cade Meyer is going to take this one for the uh, Cardinals. Understandably, you can see uh, the goalie, Mike Yitz, uh, Yensu Mensa stretching out there. He has been a busy man. And uh, despite having given up six goals here tonight has really been one of the most important players for the Cardinals with his heady play and his aggressive play come up. But here comes a, an opportunity here. Alex Lean does a nice job there. Really well done tracking that run from Lauren Baudet and uh, cutting off the through ball. It was, a, it was a nicely weighted pass, but Hudson can't get the ball out. And here we go. We got, uh, oh, just push wide, but the uh, Chippewa Falls player collected it. And when the ball was played, they were in an offside position, which means regardless of how that shot had turned out, any goal would not have counted. But again, good effort there with the uh, high pressure. They were unable to convert the uh, through ball there that Alex Lean cleared up, but Chippewa Falls won, Chippewa Falls won it back. And uh, we're looking dangerous prior to that offsides call. Blackman restarts it for Hudson to Ferreira. Over to Lean. Plays it up to a checking Chippewa Falls uh, fashion, Froschenbauer, whose uh, touch fails him, out of bounds. Looks like Lean was looking for someone to be in that space that wasn't there. Uh, worked out okay for him, though. Again, here comes Chippewa Falls attacking. Trying to play it through there nicely, John. Great positioning. Composed play by Dylan Ferreira, and here we go. One touch by Prater. Touch around one. Plays it into the uh, run of Austria's. Can he keep it in? Looks like he is able to. Great effort there, and no, my apologies, the referee did rave, wave her flag, and it was out for a chip of false throw, and nice effort by Osterhuis. Maybe makes that run a little bit wider from a wider starting position. He's able to come into the ball. Number five, Brady Wint, and number eight, Tyler Cahoon. Substitution for Chippewa Falls. Hudson really still going with their, their main team here. Winning 6-1. And on the ball. Newton loses. Oh, nearly loses it. Able to maintain possession there. Slots it through for Osterhuis. Osterhuis takes a touch, and we got a little bit of a break here. Touch a little bit too far, and a nice job there by uh, the Chippewa Falls defender to take it away only as far as a Hudson corner kick. Prater and Douglas into the corner to take it. They have uh, decided for Douglas to play it back and cross it. They've decided for Prater to keep it, and it's in here. Prater's looking. One defender plays it back again to Douglas. Douglas takes one touch. Oh, and it fails him. And here comes the break. Here we go. Now we've got a numbers-up situation for Chip Falls. Can they capitalize? Good recovery run by Dylan Ferreira. So it's a two-on-three now. Oh, what a fantastic job by Lean being there. Good defensive positioning, composed play, waited for the ball to be given away, and he took it. Prater checking back, wins a foul, looking right away to take it. Willie Douglas and start of the run early. He was a good couple yards behind the defense and offsides against the Raiders. You can see that they were on the same page, but the uh, timing and the execution was just not quite there on that one. But Hudson has 57 minutes into the game here, remained aggressive with a 6-1 to one lead. Settle Griff Zacharias looking to play the uh, header through ball there to a uh, Douglas. Douglas can't quite catch it. Keith Meyer's ahead of him. Meyer gets it back. First time plays it only as far as Prater. Prater settles. Take Splits space, defenders to Zacharias. Zacharias looking up. Oh, what a nice little ball over the top. 
and offsides for the Raiders. We're in the 58th minute here of this Big Rivers Conference boys soccer match between the Hudson Raiders and Chippewa Falls Cardinals. Hudson is leading 6-1 to one off of five first half goals and one here in the second half. Chippewa Falls scored their lone goal in the 41st minute off of a penalty kick, looking to get some more goals. Hudson working hard in the midfield to stop that from happening. Griff Zacharias wins the ball, gets a little nutmeg there though. George Newton turns. One touch, drops it back to Ferrer. Ferrer goes up over the top to looking for Willie Douglas. Douglas looked like he was in an outside spot, but uh, the ball's played centrally and he was playing out on the right flank. But really, Douglas looking all the way across the field. What a fantastic effort there by the Hudson captain working to win the ball back. Oster Houston dribble in. You got two men, three men chasing. He dribbles by <laughs> two, three, four men. It was a uh, it was a noble and solo effort as Oster Houston seemed to be the only one interested in attacking the Chippewa Falls goal there. But for his efforts, he's rewarded with a corner kick. Moon shining through beautifully in the shining through the clouds beautifully. See if Hudson can create something just as beautiful here on this uh, corner kick. Falls, number sixteen, Bryce Elkin, and number eleven, Matthew Martineau. In for the Raiders, number four, Thomas Luria. Luria in for the Raiders for the first time. Coach Stone going a little bit deeper into his bench. Lorai in the box looking. Maybe he can get that uh, first touch goal. Always a great way to get into a game. Big over the top. Austin Hughes overran it and now has to chase. Takes touch trying to get it back in. Just a little bit too heavy. <coughs> Looks like he was uh, maybe, Douglas was maybe looking for someone to come running in after the ball was played and said they had all kind of ran to their spots and had reached them prior to the ball arriving. Chippewa Falls restarts, looking to get themselves back into the game, scored their second goal, trailing 6-1 to one here in the 60th minute of play. Going to be tough, though, trying to play through balls with uh, retreating defenders and Hudson having numbers up. Chippewa Falls does, however, have a throw in here in the uh, Hudson defensive final, in their sort of final third. One of the advantages Hudson's had is that Osterhus is able in these situations to, with his uh, throwing ability, really create a, a almost a corner kick from these types of throwing situations. Probably not from as far back as this chip off Hall's throwing is, but that's uh, that's a nice advantage that Hudson has had. Although that's uh, that's a pretty good throw, and that's into the box takes a bunch of great clearance by Alex Lane, but only as far as. Uh, Number 11 there for Chippewa Falls. He drops it back, and uh, they're looking to play long. Griff Zacharias has it one touch, but a nice job there by the Chippewa Falls player stepping in. And here we go on the attack again, but Hudson just has done it. Oh, what a great split here. And here we go, Chippewa Falls has the ball in the box. Alex Lean gets a touch onto it. Chiefs Black and clears it out. But again, Chippewa Falls here with a nice bit of pressure. Can they keep it up and can they convert it into a goal? Seven takes one, two touches. Plays a little one-two with his teammate, a little split there, but they're say, the Huds, Chippewa Falls just has so many people in such a small space here, tough to do. Ball over the top there. And it stays in. Oh, Chippewa Falls able to get the ball in the corner. Can they get the uh, get the cross into the box here? Good defensive work, fantastic job, and here comes for uh, leading the charge. Ooh, great recovery, and looks like we got a foul. Must have clipped him. Tough to see from where I'm sitting here, but uh, referee deemed that uh, Ferrer was fouled there. And looks like he'll take the free kick himself. Willie Douglas raising his arm, looking for the big kick for uh, obliges his request. But uh, Chippa Fall steps in front there, wins the ball. Blackman back to lean. Lean back to Blackman again. Settle, here comes pressure. Chippewa Falls doing a better pressure. Oh, looks like there's a little bit of miscommunication there. Blackman's looking to play it through to Prater. Prater was checking back to the ball, looking for it at his feet. And uh, Chippewa Falls on the ball. Their goalie plays it really kind of to no one. And Newton steps up and wins it. Douglas is going to get in there and win the ball. What a nice job. And where's that composure in the box? Oh, that final touch there was just a little bit heavy. He's shown really great composure and creativity when he's had the ball knot. Those types of opportunities, those tight spaces previously tonight, just couldn't quite make it happen on that, on that occasion. And here comes Chippewa Falls. Unable to connect there, he's going forward. And that player 
is in fact a substitute waiting to get into the game. Ball's out of play, that's a Hudson throw. Uh, a little bit of action for uh, senior goalie Jack Gallagher there. It's tough to stay alert. Zach Peterman. That's difficult for a goalie. Number 20, Cade Meyer. And number two, Riley Wayant. As I was saying, that's uh, Gallagher came off his line quickly and smartly there to, to collect that ball. wasn't a lot of pressure on him, but it's a difficult thing for a goalie in those situations where you're really not getting a lot of action. It's a little colder than it's been in any other game this year, and so to uh, to stay focused. Right to him, right to his feet. There you go. Now look at the There he is, just right to his feet. It's uh. Yeah. And finally here, Hudson has an opportunity. Willie Douglas was on sides, and converts. Really nicely done there by Douglas. Calm, cool, collected. In the 64th minute, off an assist, I believe, from uh, Zach Biederman. Willie Douglas makes it seven to one. Seven. Willie Douglas. And in for the Raiders, number 16, Nemi Spasich. Spasich into the game for the Raiders. So as I was saying, really nicely done there by uh, Douglas A to stay on side. And then uh, once he was through on goal, it was pretty much all over, but converted that nicely. Waited for the goalie to get off his line and slotted it right into the net. So. In the 64th minute of play, Hudson leads 7-1 to one over Chippewa Falls. Ch got some uh, new players in. Thomas Lorai is in, Zach Biederman, and uh, Nemi Spasic all into the game for the Raiders here, getting some uh, playing time. Great opportunity for them to uh, show what they've got. Spasic there on the ball and uh, wins a foul for his team. It's always a good opportunity for those players coming in off the bench. And it looks like another one's going to be joining the match as soon as uh, the next opportunity. It looks like Luke Johnson is uh, waiting to check in. So bench getting emptied a little bit. Great experience and great opportunity for those uh, bench players to demonstrate to Coach Solom what they're capable of doing and also to just get more comfortable playing at a varsity level. Ferreira there off of Griff. Griff flicks it on. Alex Lean looks across first time. Didn't quite get the touch that he was probably looking for on it, but it still falls to Newton. Newton takes one touch. Spasich looking to show for him. Newton just touches it right around. Really fantastic job there by Newton. Crosses it over far post. Who's there? Uh, oh! <laughs> Biederman looked like he had an opportunity. The ball cleared all the way over to him. He touched it back into the middle and a fantastic recovery there by the Chippewa Falls, goals Chippewa Falls goalkeeper. It was a really great effort coming from one side to the other and able to push it out, uh, prevent Hudson from scoring the goal. And uh, Prater's over again. Douglas out of the game, so it's Ferrer and Prater taking the corner kick. Chippewa Falls gets a uh, defender over there quickly this time. Interested to see what they'll do. Uh, Luke Johnson's coming in now to the game for Hudson for uh, Chase Blackman. In for the Raiders, number one, Luke Johnson. So we're gonna play it short. Prater looking to uh, dribble the Meyer and he's unable to do so. But he does fight back and win a throw-in. Not going to wait to take it big. Lariah takes it, first touch. Defender's right there. Johnson looking up, gets his first touch, and it, oh, looks like looks like we've got a uh, foul called there on uh, I believe it was Lariah for the Raiders. Free kick for the uh, for the Cardinals, trailing seven to one. Getting a little bit of rare possession in the uh, Hudson half. One back by Spasich, who puts on a uh, serious sprint there to try and keep it in. Unable to do so. Thrown triple false. False to Zacharias. Takes a nice little touch around that defender, and he's dribbling off. Looks for Spasich. Spasich gets it back to Zacharias. Oh, nice again. Really. Kind of pulling the strings there, and <laughs> as has been the case all night, set offsides for the Raiders. 
Coach uh, Solom informing his players that, uh, you know, everybody gets in on the offsides. So coaching point of the night, how to stay on sides. Free kick for the, uh, for the Cardinals. Looks to settle it off the chest there. Good battle, Prater wins the ball. Looks to maintain possession, maintain possession. Drops off, good support there by uh, Ferreira. Ferreira touching on one defender, but again playing on that side of the field still. And that looks like uh, way over the top for Spasic. Spasic putting on the uh, guns and physically. Does, is able to force the defender to play the ball out in touch. That's going to be a throw in deep in the Chippewa Falls defensive half for the Raiders. And looks like we've got a uh, new ball boy out on the track there. You can't quite see it, but looks like that is uh, JV2 coach Scott Ellingson down there. He's a, uh, he's a really a renaissance man. He does it all. He coaches, he teaches, he's got some basketball dribbling skills, and he's a ball boy. So here we go. Ostrich down the game. Not going to be a long throw in opportunity here. Looks like, uh, looks like Prater surveying the field, thinking about his options. Zachary Eisner tries to sneak him high. Nice idea, but Chippewa Falls blocks it. Good pursuit there on Fashion Bauer by Newton to get him to turn back. And now here comes Biederman with an opportunity. It's a foot race. Who's going to win the ball? Biederman, a good shoulder shoulder challenge. So it's a good physical challenge. Good play there. And finds Lorai. Lorai looks to play it straight back to Biederman. He's able to do it. Biederman's on his preferred right foot. Takes one touch to settle. Looks to get it on the defender. Unable to do so. The ball goes out. And it's judged to have been a throw in for the Cardinals. Luke Johnson here. Gets turned. And here goes. Foot race, yeah, yeah, yeah. Alex Lean again, really yeah, yeah. nicely done, very comfortable. Ferreira trying to dribble one, trying to dribble two, not what you want your central defender doing in his defensive half, he recovers nicely, but Chippewa Falls does have the ball. They got an opportunity well spotted there, he had, a, he had his man out there open on the far side, he unable to settle off the chest, looked like he was almost trying to settle it in there, eight, uh, excuse me, 16 looking to settle it, almost chested in behind the defender there, his teammate number nine. Uh, great opportunity, good idea, just couldn't quite pull it off. So we're 60 in the Chippewa Falls, number 22, Eric Oliver, and number 15, Lauren Bardet. We're in the 69th minute of play here at Hudson Middle School. The Raiders are leading the Cardinals by a score of 7 to 1. As here comes a, ooh, a dangerous opportunity there, but the player was deemed to have been offsides. Great job getting off his line by uh, Gallagher to snuff out the non chance. And Dylan Furrow with a restart. Plays it over to uh, Johnson. Johnson takes a touch, picks his head up, splits the defenders to Biederman. Biederman's go, and we've got a run there by uh, Tristan Beyer, who uh, managed to hold his run after getting outside. Pursuit nicely. Mariah's on the ball, fighting shoulder to shoulder. One by Sam Schultz. Tristan Beyer. Splits, looking for Beyer. Beyer will get on it, but Sam Schultz wants it back again. Ping ponging around a little, unable to sell there. It's nicely done off the chest. Oh, looks like he was looking where he was going to kick it instead of at the ball there. Biederman was, but it falls to Bayer. Bayer takes one touch, head up, two touch, splits, looking for Vergara. Looks like these eight, where the run was going, where the ball went, we're just not quite on the same page here. And here comes Chippewa Falls. Great job by Alex Lean well winning it in, and Sam space. Schultz wins it. Heads up, looking for Tristan Bayer. Tristan Bayer turning on the wheels, takes one touch. Oh. Able to uh, not keep it in. And uh, looks like a great job there by the defender coming over, getting down to ground and playing it off of Bayer for a th goal kick for Chippewa Falls. And with that, we welcome in our uh, backup goalkeeper here. Jack Gallagher's coming out in favor of... Uh, favor of Hudson's second keeper. It's Corey Denning. For the Raiders, number 14, Corey Denning. So again, Gallagher comes out here in the 71st minute. Denning's going to get a good 20 minutes action here tonight. It's a nice opportunity when you're able to get uh, a really nice opportunity for the Raiders tonight. As we talked about, they played a pretty strenuous uh, important and successful series of matches Thursday, Friday, and Saturday against Eau Claire Memorial, Brookfield East, and Cedarburg. And for them to come back here really on kind of just a day of rest and uh, build a big lead, 
allow some of your key players to rest a little bit, allow some of your secondary players to get some experience. Uh, is a, is a great chance here, uh, well earned for the Raiders. And so now let's see what they can do in these final 20 minutes. Chippewa Falls really looking to, uh, as Little plays the ball out there in a touch, Chippewa Falls looking to get uh, some consolation here. Highly unlikely that they're going to put six or seven in here, but uh, if you're Chippewa Falls, you're looking to finish strong, you're looking to compete to the end and uh, see if you can create some chances and get a goal or two. Ball in the box, falls down nicely. It's a scrum, Ferreira able to <laughs> sneak it out there. That was a dangerous opportunity when you got a, an opposing player in your box dribbling a goal, but Hudson had so many bodies in the box there, there just really was not a shot to be had. And uh, Ferreira ultimately kind of sneaks the ball away and clears it out. Throw in here for the Cardinals. Settling in, good pressure there from uh, Spasic, working hard. And look to switch play here. Only comes as far as Luke Johnson, turn around, looks at, oh, nice little one too to get around there. Great, well done by Johnson for Laraya, who uh, back heels it there to Vergara, and he plays uh, Nemi Spasic through. Spasic is on side. Spasic takes his first touch. Spasic's second is a shot, and he just as it pushes it wide. Great opportunity for the Raiders. Well done there. Spasic uh, put on tape the fact that he's able to stay on side, which is a rare talent tonight. Seven so, uh, Raiders, number 19, Brad. Unfortunately, <laughs> could not capitalize on it. And in for Chippewa Falls, number seven, Shane Shaws. And number three, Dylan Schimmel. And uh, Kevin Jacobson into the game for the Raiders. Out of touch, throw on Hudson. Spassi fighting for the ball. Falls to uh, Faschenbauer. Good pressure here. The Hudson second crew has really come in and when giving you what you want, which is effort. They've really worked hard. There's been some smart play. They've created some opportunities. Johnson takes a touch there. Oh, falls right to the feet of the oncoming uh, Cardinal player. A little bit of a mis... No, nope, not a miscommunication. Jacobson signed a buyer. Looked like he was little on the offsides. Oh, there. Oh, Biederman turns looking to play through. Vergara is just chomping at the bit to get through there. There's no one. There's just a gap in the center of the Ch uh, Chippewa Falls defense. And finally, once Hudson's able to do it, they uh, recover. But Vergara, good pursuit. Wow, what a fab fabulous, fabulous effort by Vergara. He was... He was desperately, desperately wanting to get the ball there with about a 20-yard gap in the center of the defense. By the time he got it, they'd recovered, but uh, through his individual effort, he was able to get a shot on goal and a corner kick for the Raiders. Looks like we got uh, Biederman and uh, Ferrer over there. Again, playing the two. <laughs> Chippewa Falls player counting out his uh, yards. Looks like by the length of the lawnmower to make sure he had his 10 yards there. And Ferrer in. Touches it around. Able to keep the ball, touch around again, dribble one, and out for a corner kick. Fair and beat him in again. Back to Biederman this time. Biederman with the left foot plays it near post. Nobody running there. And the ball's out again for a Hudson throw on. 76th minute, Hudson leading the game, as you can see on the scoreboard, 7 to 1. Or maybe you can't see on the scoreboard. Sorry. My apologies. But they are leading 7-1. to one. We're 76 minutes in. This time Hudson's just going straight kick. Zach Biederman on his left foot, looking to bend it in towards goal. Plays a really great ball right into the middle of the box and a fantastic job. I just can't say enough good things about the Chippewa Falls goalkeeper. He's been, he's been smart. He's been aggressive. Uh, for someone giving up seven goals does not speak to the uh, performance of their goalkeeper tonight. It is, a, it is a team game, and he's certainly done all he can as an individual part of that team to help keep them in the game. And again, aggressive off the throw, and just fantastic job by Hudson Vergara. Oh, unlucky. He just just couldn't quite get to that ball there. Nice recovery, but again, Hudson, I think, to, to their credit and to their coaching staff's credit, has done a nice job of identifying that as an opportunity for them. That uh, right away, 
they get those throw-ins, they look to go over the top and make a run in behind. And Chippewa Falls just really has not been able to react to it. It's, they've, or anticipate it, rather. It's been very reactionary. Loraya here with the ball, splits it through all of that. So Byer, and Byer's going to get a touch on it. But again, the goalie off his line smartly and aggressively is able to cut the angle down. So Byer was able to get a touch, but he just could not get it past the goalie there. Throw in for Hudson. That was a nice, nice through pass. Split the defenders there. there was a, there's just been a gap lately in the uh, center of the Chippewa Falls defense, and Hudson has, has exploited it a couple times here. Have not been able to convert it to. Have not been able to convert into goals. But they still have 13 minutes left to do it. We're in the 77th minute here. Begar again given fantastic effort late in the game. Love to see that from your uh, from your leaders. Love to see that from your important players. That uh, regardless of the score, regardless of the situation, that they're putting forth their maximum effort. Here comes Vergara and uh, looks like Ferrer's going to be over there again. They're going to go with two man. Chippewa Falls brings two over. Hudson uh, resets. Vergara again in in swinger. Again, look, oh, what a great uh, great job there by Chirpot Falls to clear it out. Great job with the goalie to run over and through to clear it. I don't know that he got the ball, but he, he got a lot of player there. What a cheeky little touch. Unable to convert it, but a nice try. And settle fashion Bauer. Luke Johnson on him. Looks like he's not quite able to slow him down. And here comes Chirpot Falls to get numbers up. It's a three on two opportunity. Given their effort. Good recovery by Hudson, but they're still not there. One touch. Oh, you picked the right pass. Couldn't do it. They are able to get a shot up, but they just can't get it on frame. The really nicely run break there by Chippewa Falls. They did everything right except uh, get that shot in the end. The runs were good, the passing was good, and just that, that final touch just failed them. But uh, nice effort, you like to see that from the kids. It's 7-1, it's but they're still looking to do their best. They're still looking to give their best and uh, still looking to score. Goal kick for the Raiders. Seven for Chippewa Falls, number two, Ryan Wayant, number five, Brady Wayant, and number 16, Bryce Elkin. And here goes Hudson again. At this point in time with the high line, the Chippewa Falls is playing and the number of players that they're putting up in Hudson's half. It's just inviting the through balls that Hudson wants to play. So now the question is, are we going to see a final 10 minutes of breakaways on goal or a final 10 minutes of offsides. In for the Raiders, number 15, Alex Lean. Lean checks back into the game, Ferrer goes out. 80th minute here, 10 minutes left, Hudson leading Chippewa Falls, 7-1. to one. It was a 5-1 halftime score. First half characterized by a, a, a flurry of Hudson goals. Hey, there's a touch for uh, Mr. Denning. And uh, quickly restarts it for Hudson. Looking to play Nemi Spasic checking back. Unable to get it past the defender there, Little. And uh, he'll pick it up for Hudson throwing. As I was saying in the first half, Hudson scored three times in the first 10 minutes and twice in the last five. Chippewa Falls worked in a uh, penalty kick goal there in the 42nd minute. The halftime was 5-1. to one. Hudson in the 51st and 64th minutes scored in the second half to give us our 7-1 to one score line. Chippewa Falls working hard, pressing to get that second goal, leave with a little bit of consolation. What a clearance by Luke Johnson. And now the race is on who gets there first. Goalie is way out there. And uh, smartly so, he won the ball, so it was a good decision. He's, uh, he's, the, he's the Manuel Neuer of Chippewa Falls. That can, much can be said for certain. Beat him are looking again to go over the top, deflected there by the defender, and here comes Chippewa Falls. Spostage coming in. Gets goal side, unable to deflect the pass. Little's got that comfortably roll. Drops it back to Denning. Denning's first time clears it up. Looks very comfortable in there, but uh, I think any goalie winning 7-1 would feel comfortable. But not to take away from uh, the composure Denning showed so far. Looks smart. Making good decisions when asked. Throw in Hudson. I don't know if I got bit by this so you guys stay the bat in 81st minute. The uh, dearth of ball boys affecting the pace of play here right now. There's a uh, 
looks like one on this side, the near side of the field, with the far side of the field, no one over there. And so, as a result, a little bit of time spent hunting that ball down. Spossage just can't quite get a foot on it. Bounces off his. Pardon me, bounces off his legs. That's a chip of Paul's throw in. Comes up to their center forward. That looks like uh, Schultz wins it. Deflected ball falls to Raya. And he's over the top, and here goes Bayer. Bayer looks like he's got speed to burn. He's got get first touch, bounce around a little bit. Can he convert? No, again, a great save by the Chippewa Falls goalkeeper. Twice is denied Bayer on, a, on breakaways. Really great run there by Bayer. Was able to stay on sides, fought off the physical challenge of the defender. And, uh, oh, looks like that is a... That's a corner kick. No, there we go. It looked like they were initially maybe set up for a goal kick, but it, it was correctly, in my opinion, deemed to have been a goal kick for the uh, Cardinals. Great job by Bayer there, but even better job by the, by the goalkeeper for, uh, for Chippewa Falls. And Yisu Mensa has, uh, has earned his keep for the night. That much is certain. Ball falls to Bayer. Takes one touch. Looking to sl slide it across to Vergara, who steps around one defender. Can't step around the second. He pressures the ball, pushes it in. Oh, almost looks like it was going to follow Beaterman there, but uh, nice work to come back to the ball by the Chippewa Falls player. Jacobson there with a nice hip check, and uh, it's a pretty easy call there for the referee. Free kick for Chippewa Falls in the 83rd minute here. In this Big Rivers Conference boys soccer match. Hudson leading 7-1. Looking to just play out the last uh, final seven minutes here. Hudson's got a lot of its subs in, giving them a chance to run out, show uh, Solon what they got, get some experience. Biederman wins the ball, can't touch it on the defender. Nice job recovering there. Biederman just pressuring lightly. Hudson content to let uh, Chippewa Falls do whatever they want with the ball right back here. And uh, a little bit of a missed pass there, Vergara. Great timing, well done there. Spassi takes one touch a little bit too far. And again, the goalie's off his line, makes a great save. Fantastic run by Spassi, absolutely fantastic. Vergara had picked his head up, saw it, slotted it through to him. And just that touch was a little heavy, allowed the goalkeeper to capitalize and pick it up. Vergara playing in the middle of the field. Now typically kind of playing more up front and just playing a little bit more dropping back to get the ball a little bit more but now he's got his hand up he's going over the top that looks like that was on sides but the goalie here's all over it. he's playing yards off his line knowing what's coming here nice job by Loria there to step in front win the ball can he maintain possession for Hudson looks like he tried to back heel it there not quite sure oh Spasich was there for him but was unable to get a pass Chippewa Falls and here they go looking to play over the top there that looks like that was on side nope my apologies. Oh, and that's a heck of a collision. That is a heck of a collision. Referee stopping the clock. Looks like we're going to get a card here, and I think uh, I think that's I think that's a correct decision. Yellow card there issued. Uh, goalkeeper pretty clearly had that ball, and he was in a he was in a vulnerable position there, and looked like the Chippewa Falls player pretty much went to play the body there. That, uh, that's unfortunate. That looked like that was a little bit of frustration coming out, and uh, too bad that that had to happen in an otherwise really cleanly played uh, game. Has to leave the field uh, because he was issued a yellow card. So, uh, number eight, Tyler Cahoon, off. Might not, uh, might not see him for the rest of the night. That's really, that really is too bad, though. Looks like Denny's all right. And uh, Luke Johnson set up to Luke. Johnson's going to take the free kick, looks like. Or is he going to defer to uh, Alex Lean? Hmm. Rewind it. Oh, yep, Denning gives the thumbs up there. Solm checking with him. He's a tough kid. A little bit of a limp, but uh, is he gonna be? Or maybe he isn't. I'm not sure. He looks like he's kind of walking off towards the sideline, so I'm not sure. That might be... Uh, he might be coming off here. We'll see. He looks like he gave Solom a thumbs up and he was asked. And Nope. Yeah, it looks like we are going to see Denning come off and uh, Gallagher come back in the game. So it was a good effort for the time that uh, Denning was in the game. Unfortunate that he's going to have to go, under, go off in these circumstances. Nice round of applause there from the uh, fans. And Gallagher comes back in the match. So we're in the 85th minute here. Hudson leading 7-1. Really the only blemish on the game so far from a uh, fair play standpoint there 
with a uh, little bit of an unnecessary and mean-spirited challenge on Hudson's backup, goal backup goalkeeper, Corey Denning. But uh, we're back underway here, and Tristan Byer on the ball. Block. Good physicals play. Oh, looks like we got to stop the game. The clock was not restarted. It's uh, when, when uh, warnings, when cards are issued in high school, you stop the clock. It did not restart. It still has not restarted. And that shot's over. So we still have not restarted the clock here. Showing 84 minutes, 14 seconds, but we've got a good 30 seconds expire here. Referee's checking his watch. He does keep time on the field as well, so he's going to come over, speak with the uh, sideline officials here, and uh, get everything figured out. Look like we're going to go up to 85 minutes. Communicating that over. The uh, referees come over to the sideline. The assistant referee is speaking with the timekeepers. They're going to adjust the clock to 85 minutes. It's currently showing 84.14. And uh, as soon as that's all set, we'll get underway. Referee asking uh, Gallagher to wait here while we fix that. The clock has been adjusted. As soon as the referee blows his whistle, we restart. And it has restarted. We're in the 86th minute now. Jack Gallagher restarts. Looking for Santi Vergara. Ball bounces through. Settled there. Step in front by Bayer to win the ball. What's he going to do with it? Looks to turn on two defenders. Is able to keep it. Plays it to Jacobson. Jacobson's first touch falls into the path of his uh, the defensive player. Hudson winning a lot of one-on-one battles right now. Loraya, nice touch into that space and looks slotted through. What a great job by Loraya. What a great job for Gars looking to turn on the gas. He took the big touch, took the second touch around. Great recovery run by the defender. Vergar looking to back heel it into the net. Falling around, falls only far. Zach Biederman, Biederman settles it. Oh, the defender backs off for some reason. Biederman looking then to shoot it, winds it up and uh, strikes the ball decently, but pretty easy save there. One bounce right into the chest of the goalkeeper, and here comes Chippewa Falls. they got uh, about four minutes left here to try and salvage a uh, final goal. Nice job by Johnson there to Schultz. Schultz turns. Everyone running away from him. Everyone trying to get on, on the action here. Everyone wants a goal. Apparently seven isn't enough. Chippewa Falls back on the ball here. Plays it through to uh, Johnson. Turns. Lean takes a touch. Head up. Biederman looking to go. Oh, and again, looking to go over the top here. It's seven. You can just see it's just gotten sloppy here at the end here. Oh, there's a nice little one, too. Nice job, Little and Schultz. And again, we're playing through. The uh, Spassi's looking to come on. Uh, goalie, a little bit of miscommunication there. Came all the way off, and now Vergara's got a goalie out on the net here. Is he going to take advantage? Takes looking to beat players in the dribble. Smartly settles. Falls back to Little. Little touches around one. It gets to Vergara. Little with the, continues his run. Looks to connect. Good idea there. A little overlap, but... Uh, Defender was there to play it out in a touch. 87th minute, Hudson is leading 7-1. to one. they got a throw in deep in Chippewa Falls half. For, uh... Well done. Oh. That was a uh, nice shot. That was Schultz, excuse me. Collected it, turned, and uh, just unable to keep the cross in play. Looked like he had Bayer there on the far post, but... Uh, Cross popped out. 88th minute here. Hudson finishing off a uh, comfortable win over Chippewa Falls. Chippewa Falls looking to, uh, again, score that consolation goal. And it looks like it's a little mini opportunity there, but uh, offsides. And Hudson restarts. Santa Vergara drops back. And we're looking to, oh, we're waving our flag. Looks like the assistant referee doesn't like where the ball's been placed. And are we going to allow it? Oh, yep, there we go. Vergara's noticed. Pulls it back. And we're back underway. Right over the top, looking for Zach Biederman. He was sitting there poaching. Takes, oh, nice little touch. Well done by Biederman. First time. Settles it. Oh, and what a nice save. I'm not quite sure that that was going to be on frame, but... Uh, it's a highlight reel looking save there, extended there and uh, push it out. It's a nice bit of skill there, Biederman. First touch over the top, settle it nicely, and then put a put a sharp shot on that required the goalkeeper to make a save. Won a corner kick first team. Biederman over there. Vergara comes over. Not quite sure that they're going to combine at this point in time. Biederman with his left. High ball right into the six. Buyer challenges for it, but Chip Falls wins it. Luke Johnson. 
one man on his back, head up, nice job by Jacobson, Jacobson first time crosses it, settles to Vergara, Vergara is looking to touch around one, can't get around him, but it falls to Johnson, Luke Johnson with the touch, Luke Johnson with the second touch, looks to put a shot on goal, just can't quite connect with it properly, and Chippewa Falls clears it, Alex Lean plays it right back in, good decision there by Lean, Ken Johnson, what a, what a great play by Johnson, head it once, head it twice, Jacobson on the ball, Looks like the referee's got their flag up. Oh, and they're going to let that play. Jacobson gets around the defender, turns, goalie leaves it out. To, oh, what an opportunity. Great play by Jacobson there. He fought off a challenge. Looked like the assistant referee was going to ask for a foul, but allowed advantage to be played. And Jacobson put a dangerous cross. And unfortunately for Hudson, no one was crashing the front part of the goalie there. Didn't cut in front of him. The ball was sitting on a platter, and no one could capitalize. Stadium announcer Kyle Flanagan has announced there's one minute left to play. Final 30 seconds here of a Hudson uh, win. 7-1 to one is this current score. Chippewa Falls maybe here in the last 15, 20 seconds. Looking, looking, top of the box. Take one touch, look for a turn. Two defenders, great step. Shot comes in. Gallagher gets his, uh, as the Germans would say, his sort of souverain uh, save. Probably the most work he had to do all night. And he uh, made it look easy. So Nine, 10 seconds left. Eight. Seven. Spassi on the ball, looking five, to recover. Four, three, two, one, and that's the game. Final score: Hudson Lane seven, Chippewa Falls Pirates one. Thanks for having me, folks. We'll see you next time. All right, and that is our final. As you heard, after 90 minutes of play, the Hudson Raiders secure a seven-to-one victory over Chippewa Falls. Thanks for joining us, and we will see you next time.